All right, guys, I am in uh, 2019 Alfa Romeo Stevio. Uh, this is or was my mom's car for two years, and it's got about 11,800 miles now. I did a video about five things that I hate about the Stevio, and ooh, I got some hate. <laughs> I got hate on it. And uh, one thing I didn't talk about is what's good about the car, or what's cool about the car. So one thing that's cool about the car is fast. This sucker's fast, so I just want to kind of take it for a quick drive, show you guys how it goes. I'm not going to be speeding, quite honestly, because I just don't like getting tickets. So I'm just going to be taking a drive using the phone app here. It's kind of cool. Um, I didn't even know they had this feature. It must be a new download that updated. But again, uh, this car is a 2-liter turbo. Alfa Romeo, if you don't know Alfa Romeo, it's actually you know, used to be owned by Fiat, now it's Stellantis. And um, really cool car. I mean, it's pretty quiet back up here. It's got a huge panoramic moonroof. I'm on regular mode. Um, just gonna pump it a little bit. Oops, make sure that guy doesn't make a left turn in front of me. Um, gotta make sure, right? Safety first. Amazon cars right there. But uh, it's a fast little guy. Um, as you can see, it's quiet. I'm hoping you can hear me pretty well. Um, I'm 6'1", by the way. Got a pretty good amount of headroom here. Moonroofs always take up more room. But, um, let's see, making sure we're good. Yep. Very quiet car, very peppy car. I'm in, there's three modes. It's funny, it's called DNA. So you have, um, I'm on, there's an A mode, which is like um, economy, D mode, N mode is like normal, I guess. And then D is like drive or devil mode. I don't know, it turns red. I'll show you in a little bit how it looks like. Pretty cool. Um, it tightens up the steering wheel. It tightens up, um, the way the gas pedal works like it, it's a drive-by wire so it adds a little bit more voltage so it's a little bit quicker Let's see what else here so actually I'm gonna hop on the freeway really quick Let's see if I can pump it up without getting it to an accident or anything so uh, it does have, if you didn't hear, it does have the, um, what do they call it, the engine saving when it turns off, idle. I really don't like it. So I'm going to push this button and then keep it running. Um, so that's supposed to save you gas, right, because it goes into idle mode. But um, to me, it's more irritating than anything. Um, I'll be talking, I'll go ahead and do a quick overview of the body in a little bit. So I'll do a quick overview of the body in a little bit and the interior and how it's held up and um, still say what I like or don't like about the car. But I'll go into more deep delve information. But I just wanted to get on this uh, signal here and see how it shows. I should put this guy in DNA. So now it's on D. So let's go. Yeah, you can feel the, the gas pedal sensitivity is increased. This one doesn't have a active suspension, so it doesn't tighten up anything with the suspension. It's all about the ECU um, as far as controlling the response of the accelerator, the tightness of the steering wheel, and I'd say probably the timing, so it'll get a little bit more boost. So right here it gets a little bit tricky. There's a lot of construction here on a four or five freeway. Uh, they get like the merge here. Let's see. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep. <laughs> Pretty quick. Kind of a delay still. But it holds the gears. It does have these huge paddle shifters as well. This guy in the truck. What are you doing, man? Stay in the lane. What's that saying? Stay in your lane. So um, it does have uh, paddle shifters. So you can control it. Here, I got just dropped it. I just dropped it to five. This is six gears. So uh, you can do it manually. There's also a manual mode on the shifter. So um, still pretty quiet as a suburban here. 
can't really go too fast. It's a Sunday, but uh, there's like traffic here sometimes. So, but right now I'm going 65 miles an hour. I'm gonna put it back in end mode. Still pretty quiet. This is using the microphone from the phone, so hopefully um, you can hear me okay because I, I haven't really driven this car and see how the sound is. But um, that's my driving experience. Handling, one thing I want to say is the steering is very sensitive in normal mode. When you put it in D mode, it actually tightens it up and slows it down. So that way, if you're going faster, it's not gonna feel so squiggly. Um, that's the one thing I, some people might not like. Um, the brakes are a little bit bitey. I like bitey brakes because I'd rather have it feel like it's gonna stop sooner than stop too late. Um, the Alex, our big family truckster, the Lexus LX570, it's a heavy truck and you can feel that 6,000 pounds when you're trying to brake. Uh, it's still pretty good braking, but you could definitely feel it the way they designed the master cylinder and everything. Um, so I like bitey brakes. This is supposed to be, the Stelvio here is supposed to be basically the SUV crossover version of the Guglia, I hope I'm selling, selling it right, the Guglia, the sedan, so they have, we did have issues with uh, the power steering error coming up, my mom couldn't drive it before, and um, the issue is, the other issue is that there aren't too many Alfa Romeo dealers that have um, mechanics, I should say, technicians that can fix this car, um, so I literally had to call Alfa Romeo Sir, uh, roadside assistance which is online it's where you call and then they give you a link to do it online and they finally picked it up in the morning and um, it, it was 60 miles away the dealer because they'll take it to any dealer for any distance and it was literally 60 miles away ended up being uh, they couldn't look at the car for several days and including the weekend so when they finally diagnosed it on a Monday uh, it was dropped off on a Thursday. They said it was a uh, a bad fuse that fell out or something like that. Something fell out, maybe a relay. And then um, they ended up, I think, replacing the battery as well, the starter battery. Uh, it might be because of the start-stop thing too, because you're running off a battery instead of you know an electrical alternator or charging. She doesn't drive that much. I think she drives six, seven miles one way and then parks it. So anyhow, um, it took a while to get the car fixed and it wasn't a lot of work but it was this there wasn't any availability of people and I think there was a communication problem with um, that dealer because not only they do off our mails they do Dodge Chrysler Jeep they do the whole shebang so it sounds like a hot mess right they, they try to do a jack-of-all-trades and basically can't do anything right in the first place but um, it got back uh, they washed the car it's it's running fine which is good I'm happy about that so um, is this be basically um, driving for now until I got another story is uh, trading it in it's a big another mess I gotta do a video on that uh, you gotta be careful with lease buyouts but anyways um, if you're looking for a car like this um, look for something with a warranty um, if you have you don't have a warranty it's expensive I think they only cover one oil change in this car and after that it's all on you and I believe their oil change is $150 or $250 might be $250 and the reason why is because I saw a DIY that this guy did it's a lot of parts to get off just to get to the darn filter and the um, drain pan so um, I don't think it's hard I think it's tedious one thing I have to show you is where they put the turn signals on this dash. It's kind of funky. Uh, actually, let's see if I can do that now. Let's get the hazards. See where it is right here and right here? It's kind of like a weird spot, in my opinion, uh, because the gauges will block the way, too. So uh, I gotta get me my Seven Lees um, Ice House coffee to wake me up. I'm kind of tired. And I'm waiting. Kyle dig this out. <laughs> Here we go. Hello. Center's coming. Alright, thanks so much. Thank you. Have a good day. you too. 
I ordered it online, so it was faster. See that sensor? Um, that's one thing that's kind of bothering me. It's like, I'm not really close to anything, and it's like beeping. So more construction here, the 405 sucks. Can you, let's go here. So I gotta go here and make a right turn and make a U-turn, which is like stupid. There we go, that guy's going the wrong way. So. Yeah, so the turning speed is pretty quick. You can see how tight I could get this guy. Look at that. I could get real tight. Let me see some I'm gonna show you some braking. So the braking is really good too. So I just wanna show that real quick. I kinda revved it, kinda revved hang. That's one thing I did notice, but um the braking is nice and sharp. And again, if you don't like really crispy braking, this might not be the car for you. So let's get this off the line. So I got this guy on DNA. Let's see, I'm just gonna rev it. I'm just gonna go when it turns green. Woo 49, 51, and then it hangs. That thing's pretty quick. Uh, inside the car, I'm parked right now, nice and safe. What I like about uh, a couple things is that these uh, trim, it's really pretty. I mean, it's got this cool, Aluminum carbon fibers trim, aluminum here, um, a lot of aluminum things, very sporty looking, which I, I really dig on that. Um, I still had problems with this steering wheel part, kind of creaky. Also, this is supposed to be a heated steering wheel, never worked, never worked. Um, so if you push this button, it'll override the start stop idling issue at lights so which I like that's the parking sensor which is I think overly sensitive uh, here is the light adjustments I usually always kept an auto this fog light I think this is for the rear light because it's European because I never seen anything in the front do it the paddles here are aluminum really huge I talked to them kind of being overly huge but um, my mom never uses she's 72 uh, but the cruise control is right here. Here's your start stop. What's cool about the start stop though is if you're in drive here and you decide to start stop or stop it, it'll just put in park and turn off the car. Um, radio controls, volume. And then uh, you can control over well, here is the rear wiper and front wipers. And that controls also your dash right there. Um, MPG. I don't think that's very accurate because I don't think I'm getting 50 at any point. So I like to keep it with miles per hour. Um, it's showing average 24, which is about right. You can see the mileage is pretty low on it. Here's the uh, temperature gauge here and over here is the fuel gauge. I noticed when it got down to even a, th a quarter, it actually started beeping the gas was low. So it's a little bit um, over cautious, I guess. And they'll give you the light status here. And that's what the lights on auto and the direction here. And also your your gear parking. So uh, gear is kind of funky. It reminds me of the BMW. So if you want to park, you just push P. If you want to put it in drive, you do have to push the button. And then now you're in drive. And if you push it forward, you're in uh, neutral. Reverse, you got to hold the button. And now you're in reverse. The camera comes on. It's a very tiny rear screen. Um, when it's darker, it's not very, it's kind of a low res type of screen here. Um, so we'll put this guy in park. It does have manual here. I think you go there. And now you're in manual mode to go up and down or use the paddle shifters. Let's put this back in park. Uh, here's the volume control and power control for the uh, radio. This menu system, I think they improved it in 2020. It's not very friendly. Uh, it took me a while to get used to it, but what I do like, it tells me about my tire PSI pressure, when's the next maintenance due, and an oil level. So, oil is pretty important. They don't have dipsticks anymore. Um, this is what the DNA thing I was talking about. So, A is like, Economy ends like normal and D is like the D devil. Let me show you. So that's what I was saying the A 
the normal N, and then the red D, and it just kind of goes in. I think it controls with the traction control and everything else, not just the speed there. Uh, climate controls, pretty self-explanatory here, controls here. It took me a while to kind of figure out this here. Um, when they means to your face, uh, let's see if I get, can you tell, let me turn this on. When it says to your face here, by pushing that, it's actually not this to your face. Like this doesn't mean this face, it's actually over here. And then uh, by pushing this, let's see if I get it right. Pushing that, that's actually here and down there. And then, let's see, and that means up there and down there. So it's just a, like a weird mode, I had to get used to it. So I like to have it like that. I don't need my feet to be cold, especially if I'm wearing shorts. Uh, again, uh, really nice dash. This is a little bit soft, not too soft, but I do like it. I like it that the door locks are right here and red tells you it's locked. Um, mirror controls here, the other uh, window controls. This is how you can open the rear hatch. Let me back this out a little bit. This one's got the garage controls. This thing gets a little bit kind of funky, but um, does that light up? Yeah, it's like very low, very low light. There, let me get my finger out the way there. Low light. Um, but it has this huge moonroof. Let me see if I can get the sunshade. It's basically a panoramic. You can push it again. Now we get the back open for your back passengers and then that's a pretty big opening there. Wind buffeting, it kind of goes in sections. So wind buffeting is not bad. It could go more, I think. I'm, what am I, I'm doing. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, that's all it can open. I thought it could open more. Uh, okay. That's how much I use it. <laughs> so, back seat room's not bad for the car. Let me make sure this is closed. There we go. Um, it's got the old shizzle handles here. It even has it on this side too. Don't know what this guy in the truck is doing. He's like right there. But um, that was kind of close, wasn't he? And then, uh, oh, the seats, man. The seats look nice. These are like uh, an option here, the Sport. Um, I like this kind of stitching and stuff. Really cool seats. Really keeps you in there. Um, what else? Let's, let's go outside. Let me kill it. So, like I said, if I put this in drive, you see I'm in drive right there. Suckers in drive. I hit stop. Puts it in park. Then, if I just open the door, it's locked. It just opens out. So, pretty cool. Let's see. Stepping's kind of weird. A little bit tall, but it still works. So, the back seat. Not bad. Um, I'm six one. Let's see. Uh, uh, this is a little tight for me. Again, I'm six one. It's not a full size vehicle, but and headroom kind of sucks for me. But it's good for you know kids <laughs> or if there's a shorter person in front. Uh, one thing I didn't like was this dimple for the fuel tank actually co-worker said what is that why does it do that is something wrong I and mean, he thought it was wrong so it wasn't just me but it's a great looking car uh, for a mail let's get this thing open um it beeps you can control the height of it too this is a little bit lower because i said it for my mom but um uh, you know they had a cover here it's kind of cool But yeah, it's got that. The seats do fold. You have child seats under here. Um, there's no spare tire. It is at your own risk. <laughs> no, it doesn't have spare tire though. And you can either lock it or close it. I'm just going to close it because the key's in front. Plus, it probably won't lock because there's a key there. But it's a great looking color. This is Emola Gray, I believe. It looks like a brown, but looks really clean and these are um 
cross sport wheels early 20s these are cross sport wheels continental yeah 20 inch wheels and tires daytime running lights really clean car like I, I really like how this front end is it's just so significant and different it's just a really cool ride so that's about it thanks for watching if you're interested or if you have one of these or any questions or comments please post peace out guys